Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Alienware Command Center for the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse, the AW959. So right now we can see in the GUI or the graphical user interface, we can see under Home, it already has Tom Clancy's Gold Re uh, Ghost Recon Wildland. And this wasn't here originally. This was pretty much blank, but if I clicked library and I did a scan, it showed all the games that are on my hard drive. So, for example, if I go over here to 5, or Battlefield 5, I can click on there, then I can see there is no current theme applied. I can add a theme, and then it goes for my audio theme. It's going to be for the regular Alienware. Audio racing, role play, strategy, shooter, and com. And that's only because I have the Anywhere Bluetooth headset, which I'm going to go over in a separate review. Over here, then we have the different power profiles high, balanced, and power saver. Now, I don't know why this one's honestly here because I don't know why you'd want to change outside of the high performance, but anyway. And then another one of the audio settings. And then, of course, from here, you could launch the game. So if we wanted to create a theme, we just click on the plus here. Then here we're going to see the mouse. We'll see the bird's eye view of the mouse. And then we'll see the profile here. Okay, you'll see there are four buttons here. And I'll go over that in a second as well. But as it's showing over here. And then you could see the blue lighting effects right over here. Now maybe I want to change it to red. You can see how that changes on the fly as I'm doing it, as I'm changing through all of the colors. Okay, and then maybe I want to get, give it some effects. So I'll choose pulse. Then you can see the mouse is going to be blinking really slowly. I could change that tempo and make it fast. Again, I could change the colors either through one of these presets you know, or select my own personal preference right here. Then we'll go to color, which is what we were on before. We'll go under breathing, one of my personal favorite effects. See the mouse breathe off and then breathe on. Same way you can change all of those colors. Maybe you prefer more sinister red. Okay, and then we can change that breathing effect. That kind of looks cool there. Okay, then we'll go over here. We'll go to a spectrum. So here it's going to go through all of the colors. Pretty nice and slow. And let's bump that up a little bit. And I'll go over here so you can see this part over here. And then we'll go here to fireworks let's bump up that tempo so you can just see it kind of pulsing not really pulsing but kind of exploding to whatever color you select it and then we'll do static default which is the color it comes with and then you can change the brightness here as well And then we'll do rotary, kind of go through all of the colors, kind of like that. And then we can change that speed as well. So it's kind of going crazy there. So kind of cool. Now the macro section, I'll get into that a little bit later on. Uh, that's a little bit more in depth, but I will go over that. And then we can also change the settings. We can change the polling rate if you want to from 1 to 8. We can enable mouse acceleration, switch primary to secondary buttons, so switch from left to right or right to left. Can do a sleep timer. We can adjust the tilt, the double click speed. Now this one is a little bit scary, lift on distance, so it's depending on how far away you are from the surface I would leave that one on default unless you know already what you like to change on there then you could change 
the little scroll wheel, how fast or slow you want that to scroll up or down. Okay, so pretty cool. We have a ton of features here. And then if you notice, when we and I'm going to cancel that, why don't we switch to that setting right over here? It threw us over to the FX tab. You may not have noticed, but I wanted to show you that as well. And we'll click Don't Save. Over on the Fusion side, this lets us adjust the power management so we can change how we want balanced, performance, power saver, and we can even create a new profile. So that's going to go off of the power profiles that Windows has already. And again, you can add new ones. Now, coming back over here to FX, so, so if, if we see, see the. Oops, excuse, excuse me. me. If, if we, we see the profile of the mouse, mouse itself, itself, so, so let's, let's go, go ahead and create, create a new theme, and, and we see, see the profile. profile. So you so notice right, right now, on the mouse, mouse there, there are four buttons. buttons. You can, you can change, change these wings. wings. Maybe, Maybe you want, want two buttons. buttons. So, so I'm going to go ahead and replace, replace that here. here. Okay. okay. And, and you see how on the, the, uh, the GUI, we can see that that's changed to two buttons instead of four. Now, the personal preference for me is the four, not because I use four, I honestly only use two, but you'll notice how the two, how the four has a bigger wing. It feels a lot better in your hand, in my opinion, than this one, but if you wanted to, you could use it, and for now, we'll just go ahead and put it on. Now, it's not only this side, we can also change this side as well. I also opted for the wider side, but if I wanted to, I could change it right up here. And then I'll switch up here. And that one doesn't really show it, but I took that one off. Okay. And now I'll go to the smaller profile. Now, this does still fit in my hand. It still fits in nicely. Honestly, this fits in a lot better than the previous Alienware mouse. So I'm liking this mouse a lot better. Okay, so then we come back to settings and we'll go to DPI settings. Now, if you notice, this little guy right here, I can push it left, I can push it right, left or right, and that's going to toggle between DPI 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, you have to be a little careful, though, because when you get up here in uh, DPI 3, um, not 3 so much, 4 and 5 for me are a little bit kind of quirky not because they're bad just because it's hard to get accustomed to those they work just fine though okay and then aside from and of course you can change these I'm just gonna put it back to 1100 okay and then you can move the X and Y values now this is another cool part we can also change the surface calibration so let's say I got a brand new mouse pad and you know it just doesn't feel right anymore I can either leave it under automatic or I can manually calibrate that surface so to start click on the mouse icon below and hold the left mouse button counterclockwise okay so oof. okay I guess I hadn't calibrated it on this mouse pad before because that change it feels a lot nicer now so that's kind of cool and then we can click update now that's checking to see if you have the latest version so and we do right now and then when we're done we come back to settings and we are where we were before when we first came into the software and that's about it for the configuration and everything but you can also change the lighting which this is kind of sexy and then you can go back over here you can change the interface settings, the UI highlight control, particle effects, waveform. So I'll switch that to galaxy or smoke or totally off. I kind of like the waveform. It was kind of sexy looking there. And then for diagnostic data, allow anywhere command center to send anonymous usage data. Leave it yes or no, totally up to you. And then if you have any questions, maybe something I didn't go over, or maybe something I didn't go over well, you can click on the little question mark over here. 
and that's going to open up the Alienware Command Center. So tons of information here. You know, if again, if there's something that I didn't cover well, or maybe you want more detail on, you can always come in here, get all your information, or if you wanted to, comment on the video below, and as always, I'll be more than happy to help you on anything whatsoever. So just to kind of break it down, we can swap out the wings. We can either go from two mouse buttons to four mouse buttons. And it's magnetic, so as soon as you put it near it, it'll just slap into place. Here are left and right mouse buttons. The mouse button not only goes up and down, but you can left and right as well. And then here, as I showed you before, you can lower or raise the DPI. You'll notice the colors change with it. That's all because it's set on the theme already. You can also change the right wing out if you wanted to. If this one's too thin for you, just put on the thicker one. This is the way I prefer. Again, even though I only use two mouse or two side buttons, I put this one on just because of this little wing out here. It makes the mouse feel a lot better in my hands, and I don't have very big hands. And well, that's about it for now. Again, this is Iggy showing you how to use the Alienware Command Center on the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse AW959. As always guys, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And if you have any questions or anything on this mouse, on the software or anything really, please ask me in the comments below. In the comments below as well in the description, I'm going to have a link of where you can buy this mouse. Check it out for more information. Again, Iggy out. See you guys.